Calls to make fast food giants pay higher rates as a way of tackling obesity are being shunned by local councils. A Melbourne council wants to do just that, with increases to the tune of 400%. There's support for the move here, with anti-obesity campaigners saying councils represent the community and a so-called fat tax would be responsible. Is it that simple? Mayor of Porirua, Nick Leggett, doesn't think so, and he's with us now. Uh, are you ready to rain on the fat tax parade? Uh, I'm saying very clearly that uh, I don't think there's a role for councils to single out particular businesses in the community and to uh, put in place uh, much higher rates or taxes on them. So you wouldn't consider a local fat tax option? Um, I, at this stage I wouldn't be promoting it as Mayor of Purirua. Uh, I don't think that uh, councils should be in the business of making these kind of lifestyle judgments for their residents. I think we can be far more positive in the way we engage with fast food businesses uh, and, and promoting exercise and activity. I also think um, it, w it's a slippery slope. I mean where, where does it stop? Um, do we uh, start putting warning labels on uh, Whitaker's Chocolate who are located in Purirua and they're, they're a big employer and we're proud to have them? Do we, do we sort of put a higher rates on takeaways and bakeries. Um, there's a real issue, I think, the, the, it's, it is a slippery slope. Perhaps that is a viable option. We've got warnings on cigarettes, people are calling for it on alcohols, maybe we need it on foods that are bad for our health. I think the difference though between food, alcohol and tobacco is everybody has to eat. We don't have to uh, drink alcohol, we don't have to smoke cigarettes. And the, the, the other point is that, that fast food or any sort of food is okay in moderation. And that's what we should be promoting. We shouldn't be uh, talking about um, banning or punitive taxes on, on fast foods that are actually, uh, you know, most people enjoy. And I don't want to be a mayor of a city that goes around telling people they can't take their kids to McDonald's for the odd Happy Meal or to KFC, you know, if they enjoy fried chicken. Nick, is there a problem? in Porirua of too many fast food outlets? I think there's a problem in any community, in any part of the country, when people uh, eat uh, too many, too much processed foods, too many fatty foods. And we've actually, you know, councils have to be part of the solution in terms of how do we promote good lifestyles, how do we promote, um, you know, healthy eating and, 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 and raising awareness particularly. I mean, Petra, I think it's important. Um, what If we take something that councils do really well, and that's we provide recreation facilities, outdoor spaces that promote physical activity. And what I'd prefer to see is for councils across New Zealand to get together with some of the fast food giants and actually secure funding from them uh, to, to promote those kind of facilities in our community rather than sort of, you know, getting down on top of them and, 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 and taxing them uh, in, in an increased way and sending, I think, negative signals. We should be actually about promoting positive things like exercise um, and, and also uh, menus as well. You know, McDonald's have um, increased their, their healthy the food council, options. Yeah, the council in Australia, the Melbourne Council, was saying Look, they can't uh, restrict the number of outlets f through planning. This was a way possibly of reducing the number of outlets. They wanted to take this rate increase of 400% on fast food outlets, uh, fatty food outlets, and then use it to promote positive messaging. They're saying exactly the same, but the mechanism they were proposing, you, you don't agree with. No, I think we should be engaging in a far more positive sense. I also question uh, whether councils legislatively could actually uh, pick out the fast food giants and rate them. I think we would end up in court. And that's, and that's what I'd rather see us actually, you know, taking the message out there positively and doing the things that councils do really well, like promoting healthy activity and working with, you know, central government agencies to promote healthy living and healthy eating. Nick Leggett, Porirua Mayor, thanks for joining Breakfast this morning. Thank you.